Hello, thank you for your interest in our products and the creative processes and the production of our world-class award-winning spirits. I'll give you some insight on how we capture these flavors at their peak and some of the secrets of our copper pot still. This is a story from the orchard to the bottle. All of our unique products here at Okanagan Spirits begins with the selection of quality fruit and berries chosen for magnificent aroma and just the right amount of sugar for fermentation. After reaching optimum ripeness, the fruit is washed and then macerated and pumped into our fermentation tanks. Fermentation is a fascinating process of introducing yeast to the fruit and supplying the optimum temperature and nutrients to keep the yeast healthy and active. Ethanol, the drinking alcohol, is a byproduct of the yeast fermenting the available fruit sugars. Fermentation is a critical step in releasing the fruit aromas into the alcohol. One of the most important pieces of equipment in our distillery and that partly the main part of our success and our flavors and our spirits is obviously the copper pot still. This one is made by Mueller in Germany and holds about 150 liters. It's a copper pot that sits in a hot water jacket and as the water heats up, alcohol boils at a lower temperature than boiling water. It'll turn to a vapor. It rises through this hat and up a pipe known as a ghost pipe and the ghost pipe opens up at the bottom of this section here known as an aromastat. And this is one of our secret components that it contains a whole series of sheets of copper. And the theory is that copper will absorb sulfur and other impurities. So it really smooths out the fruit alcohol vapors. It pulls off some of the impurities. The fruit alcohol vapor will then rise to a top section known as a deflagmator, basically a, a boiler with a lot of warm water in it. If it's warm enough, those vapors will carry on through over to the far side, which is our condenser, which is full of cold water and will turn the vapor back to a liquid. As the liquid leaves the condenser, it'll pass through this little bell housing, which has this interesting little unit floating in it called a hydrometer, which will give me exact alcohol readings and assist me in making a decision of what alcohol components I'm going to keep and what I'm going to remove. From there, it goes into a pail and into our various storage barrels. So now that we've learned some of the secrets in the production of world-class spirits, I'd like to invite you over to our tasting area to sample our full range of flavors. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Enjoy.